Hello everyone, welcome back to Full Stack Laravel Vue.js development. Today we are going to learn a, a basic Vue.js because this is going to be really important for you guys. If you have not learned Vue.js, uh, that is, this is the tutorial for you. And I will try to cover almost everything that is extremely required to develop any application, okay? And there are some topics that are really advanced and I don't want to eat your brain. And I really, really hope uh, you will be able to learn uh, them once you start developing. So do not see, do not just watch, start uh, doing coding because coding makes you perfect, okay? So you start also the coding and uh, end of this video, I will share the code repository with you guys so that you can also start with it. You can pause the video and see the description of the video for the project links, okay? Now, let's see uh, uh, the basic videos and yeah, one important uh, advice to you is that do not look everywhere, just focus on the topic based top topic by topic and you will see that uh, you are being able to connect uh, the whole idea together, just do not miss the uh, basic things, okay? So let's get started. I have run the command uh, npm run watch and the project is running right now and uh, as you see this is the uh, default thing we did last uh, uh, in the last video and we are starting with a new one. So uh, in this tutorial I'm not going to uh, cover mostly uh, uh, anything re related about the project so instead of uh, covering anything related to projects I'm going to show you the basic video stuff. So for that I'm going to have a new uh, folder for our tutorial let's say we can call it um, basic okay so the basic videos I will be uh, teaching you and then I can have my own routing uh, here as well so let's say in the basic we we, ha we have uh, something uh, we will learn about hoax so let's say hoax.view so we will learn view, view, view just hoax uh, in this template so I will not delete uh, anything so after that you will be able to reference back and see okay what I uh, have written there and you can reference that back okay <sighs> okay so let's get started uh, with uh, routing so I can have a route here extra separate route and I can push that but let's uh, let's have it here uh, with a comment view hooks Okay, so perfect. I have also commented it out. Um, you can say hooks, and we can also have pages. And under pages, we have a folder called basic, and then we have this uh, hooks.view file. That's perfect. And if we use that one, we can uh, we can actually will be able to access that. Yeah, and here one thing I should say if about that you can pass a lot of other informations such as the name, the component name can be like your home page or home anything and you can pass meta information as well. Uh, so yeah, you can pass a lot of information out there but I'm not going to cover all those things right now because this is not so important at the moment. So yeah, let's see what is hoax in Vue.js. So uh, let's first run this template. tutorial and let's access this one perfect uh, no it's not actually referencing so I hope you understand why it's not referencing because we're referencing the second page we are not using the hooks component that's why we are not seeing the hook template yeah here you go okay so <clears throat> Last, in last tutorial, I showed you the view project is your app.js file. So when your app.js file uh, is loaded, then your view instance is loaded. Your uh, view.js project becomes reactive. So there is a lifecycle hook. This is called lifecycle hook. If you go to the view website or some blogs, you will be able to find out what is lifecycle hooks in view.js. So I'm trying to make it as simple as possible for you guys, but let me show you the structure of the view uh, template, okay? So you have a script that export default, then you have a data property, and that's really, really important. And you, uh, and you return an object like this, okay? So here, this data property is the local memory. You can say it as a local memory of this template. Okay, so this, uh, whatever you write, any variable, any array, any object, whatever, can be anything any variable or data 
is actually the local memory of this template. Other templates will not have any access over this data, this template or anything. They, they will not be able to have access on it. This is this local state, local memory. Yes, if you want to share memory, you will have to use Vuex, the state management, st uh, state management store, a central store, or you have to pass the data using props. Okay, there are many other methods you uh, are passing data, but we will learn a uh, Vuex, the state management later in this series. Okay, so this is important. I'm going to show you. Uh, let's say let's have a uh, local memory call name, a local uh, variable name, and let's write my name Sadek. And if you want to print that out, you have to use something like that. like this and you just can reference this thing here that's perfect you see the name is available it's really hard to see so let's make it an H2 here oh yeah one more thing you can install this uh, view Chrome dev, uh, dev tools so that you can inspect uh, here as well so you see we have a root element then we have main app as a component then we have hoax component and we can see our data property here so whatever the data property will be here you'll be able to see it here and i can also update my data property here and it will be automatically reactively uh, uh, available in my component wherever or anywhere i have referenced okay that's perfect even uh, okay i will show you a little bit while now let's talk about uh, the hooks okay so there are a lot, quite a few hooks all of them are not really important really necessary for forging projects so let me only focus on the things that are really really required or people use as people use them in their projects okay so one of them is uh, created hook okay and there is one more hook before created so what the created hook does is that uh, before, for example, what uh, what is a Vue.js project? A Vue.js project, as I told you, is that it's full JavaScript code. Okay, this is purely everything is JavaScript, plain JavaScript. Okay, so as soon as this JavaScript available, your uh, created hook is also available. But yet, these things is not available. Okay, so browser need to render all these things as an HTML, as HTML. Here, if you see, inspect this element, uh, h1, everything, okay? So, this, these things are available in the uh, uh, JavaScript, plain JavaScript. So, if I show you this JavaScript and uh, search this view tutorial, you can see this is plain JavaScript. So, this needs to be rendered and readable uh, in, in the browser, uh, by the bra browser, readable by the browser. So, once this is rendered, um, then they are available okay but in created hooks these are not available yet you cannot access h1 you cannot access any html because html has not been built yet okay so if you try to access the html you will get an error you will get undefined or um yeah you will get undefined okay now let me uh try to access this uh, uh this one actually we can access it uh, ref so ref can be um um, my ref anything just to customize it and if you try to console that uh, and you can access the refs like this instead of document dot get element by id we should use this uh, this way so we will see that it is completely undefined you see we cannot access because html is not available when created hook is available okay so what do we do with created we actually call mostly initial data from it okay but these hooks uh, can access its data property all methods computed and everything everything related to Vue.js this created hook can easily access okay but there is one more hooks for example okay uh, before showing another hooks let me show you uh, this one console.log let's say data and other uh, function is available but not HTML so let me access so if you want to access any data property from your created or any methods you have to write this way sorry so you have to write this dot name 
okay you cannot access the property just with name like this we have to go or reference it using this okay you see the, this has uh, all those properties available you see data and other function is available but not HTML and I can access my name here perfect so there is another hook that is instantiated uh, before even view instance is instantiated okay so the this one is called before create and that's was uh, is not so much useful people do not use that because simply because we cannot access this one at all okay Bef because this one is created before this hook is created okay so if you try to access the data property uh, like this name it will be unavailable okay so it has some really much limited data available for example props but you cannot access these things okay so it uh, that makes it little bit uh, I don't know why it's available but yeah um, we can uh, use that only uh, a routing let's say if you want to detect whether you are logged in or not and if you want to redirect user yeah, so you have you can use this before create route so that one is useful there so when we develop uh, authentication we will see the uses of before create okay so for now let's stick with created now there is one more called mounted okay and mountain is really important you will be needing it once you develop a real world application such as uh, cart or e-commerce application simply because you needed uh, let's say you want to access the local storage here you cannot access this local storage using created because those things are not available in created but you can access them using mounted also you cannot access the any HTML elements using created but you can access HTML element from your uh, mounted okay because what is mounted mounted um, created is instantiated even before your HTML is rendered but mounted is only instantiated after your HTML has been built all the HTML is rendered after rendering all the HTML your mounted is available there is one more hook called before mount you can see the reference in any website especially in Vue.js website so we will require at least these three uh, in our projects let's see let's go with uh, with this tree but I really uh, bet that you only need created most of the time okay so let's try to access uh, uh, this dot reference okay so let me show you this dot ref dot my ref so this one will now be available You see, we have the HTML here, and we can do any anything that is related to the uh, HTML. Okay, so you can have your plugin. Sometimes you will see uh, that you cannot do some stuff with created. Then you have to use mounted. Okay. Okay, so I will try to make uh, the videos uh, short, part by part, so that we can cover each topics each day, and uh, do not make a longer video because I think people do not watch all the. Uh, the long videos much okay so we learn uh, Vue.js hooks and we can easily access uh, hooks um, or we can easily see what we can do uh, what we can do with what uh, hooks and what not so I hope this tutorial helps you to understand uh, so before I uh, finish this video I would like to say that um, mostly created is used to call our API backing it okay so mostly um, we use created to call the data from our server okay we will uh, see the users it once we start developing our project till then just play with them okay I will be publishing this uh, source code in the github repo so that you can follow and you can also start playing with it okay so Till then, bye. I will come up with the uh, next tutorial with uh, some more basic stuff. Till then, stay safe. Good night. Goodbye.